In this video, we'll add uh, Vue.js shopping cart in our e-commerce website. So first, we need to upgrade our or upgrade or install Laravel Mix. So since this is uh, Laravel 5.3 application, we upgraded it to Laravel 5.5. But still, we have uh, this sculpt.js file. But we want to use Laravel Mix. First, we need to go to package.json. Here you see these uh, old dependencies. So we, we need to update these. So what I will do is I will uh, copy the uh, package.json file from newer Laravel 5.5 application. So I will just copy behind the scene and just paste it here. So as you can see, it has uh, some updated dependencies like Laravel Mix, jQuery, and newer version of Vue. So let's install them. So before installing them, if you already have this node uh, module directly uh, directory, uh, you have to delete that. Just delete that. Okay. After removing that folder, we'll install all these dependencies by npm install. Okay. npm install is done, and now we have all necessary modules available so first thing we want to do is uh, we want to set up our front-end resources so here we have example component app.js and bootstrap.js but I want to replace this with a newer bootstrap.js file so here view resources is used so which uh, we have just removed instead we are using axios so i will quickly copy and paste a content of content from a newer version of laravel so requiring load as uh, jquery axios and adding headers and app.js looks good uh, nothing to add here are requiring that file and defining an example component so also we want here uh, instead of gulp.js to concatenate all js and css files we'll use webpack uh, so we'll use a mix configuration so we can copy it from node modules laravel mix so instead of going through this we can use terminal so we'll copy uh, from node modules laravel mix mix and setup and i think the file name is webpack dot mix dot js so i'll copy it in root okay here we go so instead of this i will delete everything and yeah we are requiring laravel mix and then we are joining the file in our resources assets js app.js to public.js sorry inside a public slash js and similarly we are doing that for scss file okay so that is the laravel mix setup and now we can run npm watcher npm run watch and we'll make some changes in our home page so front controller index so front dot home all right so here we'll put our example view component and everything should be contained inside app so so home uh, dot blade extends uh, the layout main and in layout main what we can do is yeah we can wrap this content inside a div with id app so 
so let's visit the home page okay so we are not seeing because we haven't included our app.js file in our main layout main and we need okay so here we included our app.js oh we forgot to include view so we so in uh, your resources uh, sorry resources assets js app.js assign uh, the view to the window object and record it from view so okay for okay so now we have successfully set up our laravel mix and all basic javascript uh, files in our laravel 5.5 applications okay so these links are broken now behind the scene i will quickly fix these links So now what we'll do is we'll make uh, each uh, view component for these products. So there will be one component product and we'll loop through each to generate all those. So which will be quite reusable. Similarly, we'll make one cart component. So let's do that. So first start by creating the product component. So the current scenario is uh, this is home dot blade view this view we are loading everything this header images and then we are looping through the chunk of source to generate uh, generate the products so this is item wrapper okay so let's create everything inside this item wrapper into a product component so for that I will just first create that component So we'll put component inside this. So I will duplicate it with product. And the component of product will be so everything inside this item wrapper. So I'll copy everything and paste it inside okay so we'll accept these variable as a prop so here we have to create a prop file ah, sorry so we'll accept our props I will just name it sort and that sort uh, will be passing from let's close everything else So that will be passing inside our component. So all these component uh, variable need to be passed. Uh, so why not we just pass this sort uh, value and we take everything from here. So now we don't need this item wrapper. Just remove that and instead we will use product and we'll pass the property sort equals to the sort. So since we are passing it from our Laravel blade file to there and we are passing like that. 
okay since we are using this product we need to define that in our app.js so we have this example similarly we have product and product dot view okay we got error because the sent, uh, syntax are wrong okay so now that we are getting this sort we can replace that with uh, sort price so sort dot price so we'll be accepting these as a property as well so okay so we successfully created our component so we are accepting these props and since there is our plain string we don't use this bind okay so now we have reusable uh, this product component in place we can now uh, include that in our search uh, view uh, blade file so let's go to search start blade and we're doing same thing here just remove this image wrapper and replace it with our component view component and now refresh and go to search there we go okay we are getting every uh, getting everything fine so it says csrf token not found yeah that you can include it on your include it as meta tag yeah so we are getting it from meta and let's go to layout and inside layout and we need to add it somewhere above this title so csrf token okay no errors okay now that we have product component in place so when we want we hit this add to cart we want to uh, increase this cart cart item number this number dynamically and when user clicks on this we want to show on this cart detail component so for that we need to create two components one this cart counter and yeah, we can call it cart and this one cart detail okay so let's quickly create that so let's first start by creating cart counter which is inside layout main and okay here it is okay we will slightly change it and make it div so since we don't need to make this as link we leave uh, this link out and similarly this will be coming from our view variable so view variable cart count okay so we can cut it out from here and put and put cart count variable here and same workflow we will make cart count we'll register that and create that variable cart count and now we need to so instead of props we need our data so we'll return an object should be card count and for now just put it dummy data here just to see if everything works okay build successful but here we can see that okay that is because so card count is outside of so here we placed idf 
here so everything inside content will be taken into consideration but uh, let's put it our div all right now let's check this out no error so far we got this card we can wrap everything inside button as well so now we'll be uh, altering this card count variable when someone clicks on this add to cart so let's do that so products con uh, component and in this button when someone clicks add to cart and let's define this method we'll first define add to cart okay so uh, since we are not using any um, store like view x we have to communicate between these components using event so uh, we'll if someone hits add to cart button we'll emit item or product edit event and all other child component or sibling component will listen to that okay so for that we need to create one event bus so let bus equals to new view so here when someone clicks at it will emit bus emit the name of event will be add it and we'll pass the product also which is this dot cert okay we need to put assign it to window object window dot bus okay now when user it's add to card we are emitting add it to card event and that event will be fired up and uh, the root component will listen for this event so this app.js inside our resources assets will uh, listen to that uh, and here on created event we are uh, listening for that event let's Okay, so on this created uh, we are increasing the item count so we are increasing by one and now we need to pass that to our this count component so that it will have that comp uh, that count so we are passing uh, this item count from our main root component as this property card count or we can give yeah that's fine for now and let's go inside card count component so here we go we are accepting that props and we are displaying it here okay so let's test that refresh so by default I'm putting it five let's uh, by default it will be zero and let's refresh and now let's add uh, one this item to card I clicked and here it is added one let's add this add it to let's add one two yeah it became four five six there we go okay so uh, we are getting right counter now we need to update uh, this counter to display the uh, checkout form sorry checkout detail now we need to make another component to display card detail so we need to make the component for this to display that okay so let's start by creating one component
so our current HTML structure is inside card index for that and what we will do is uh, we'll copy this whole table and we will I will copy everything with checkout button as well so I'll put it inside uh, our table contains everything and now we need to get rid of these uh, okay now we need to get rid of these uh, okay let's remove this uh, laravel blade specific code and okay so this is our basic card detail html component so we we need to uh, now we need to uh, um, get this card wherever as a props so we'll do uh, we'll uh, construct that card and pass it to this component in a moment but before that let's check if it is uh, displaying correctly or not so we will display it somewhere let's display it in home page I'll display it just here cart detail ok so let's just pass a cart and this will be coming from our root component which is app.js and here we will add the cart variable which is null by default and so uh, on added to cart we will have access to product so when someone hits on uh, add to cart uh, we will have the item uh, and that item we need to push it to this cart now let's add it to cart uh, with help of add to cart and we will push that to okay it is giving us that text error let's get rid of that for now yeah so this is the checkout form yeah we need to call add to cart so we are calling this function add to cart and we are passing that product and yeah so this will push this product to this cart okay let's see that in action okay let's go to components root component currently it is em empty now it got one object now again two yeah that's fine okay so our basic uh, the component is working okay behind the scenes i've added couple of things so previously there was no quantity uh, so we added this functionality to add quantity and reduce quantity like so so if it is less than one it automatically removes from cart also we added uh, grand total and we make this persist when a page is refreshed by uh, storing these uh, card item in local storage so if you do not store it on local storage it won't persist here so also card item it will also show dynamically okay so let me explain uh, what I did so you can also find code uh, you can uh, dive into that if you want so let me quickly explain what I did okay so let's go to card detail view component which is this component so first thing I did is these two buttons add to cart and remove from cart just here so when user clicks on remove to cart uh, this remove to cart function is triggered and similarly here is another button to add to cart so which will increase quantity or add item to the cart depending upon if that is already on cart or not so in this component what we are doing is uh, when the user reads that yeah, this function is called and this will emit remove from cart event similarly when we add it will emit the added to cart event so 
these events we are listening on our app.js resource assets so this is our root component so here we are listening for uh, those two events added to cart and removed to cart so we are passing product as well so which product is added so uh, these two function uh, are important so when added to add add to cart function is triggered uh, we we are doing this logic so add to cart so first so what we are doing is uh, we are finding the index of matching products so for example if we add uh, this product again so mars screeny if we add this product we just increase quantity we do not add new product so if there is new product like so then we want to push to push to cart so same thing we are doing here first we are checking in this cart if there is the product is present so if that is uh, present we are just increasing the quantity by one if uh, there is no quantity uh, sorry if there is no item in cart already we are just making quantity one and then pushing it to product and finally we are just stringify it into json and storing it on local storage so that we can access it same thing for remove from cart uh, same logic we are just checking if there is product if there is product we are just removing it from cart if not we are just reducing the quantity and same thing here we are storing that so this is the log logic behind that so uh, one another function get and get to cart what this uh, function will do method will do is it will check uh, in uh, local storage if there is uh, data in local storage it will assign that to cart so that we can fetch the item on page refresh so previous item which we added to cart and this function we are calling in when component is created so that's it that's the logic also I've added two computed function to get the card total and to get total items in card so this is perfect uh, example for uh, computed properties property so if any any of these variable will change it, it will automatically recompute and give us value so I am I'm assuming that you know basics of Vue.js and uh, these two items uh, so this is the root component so that uh, we can pass these uh, um, property to any of our child components so any of these components so uh, I did same thing I passed uh, this value to card detail so uh, let's go and for now I have put that inside home and card detail so that will uh, this is the card detail I'm passing card and card total that's it so if you want we can also pass uh, cart items like total items and uh, in this view we can show the total items total items and for that we need to accept it as props okay so it is total items this need to match this thing okay so we get total item and it will update So now instead of putting it here, we want to uh, show it when when user clicks on this cart, this uh, link like so. So I have already included that. Uh, let me go through that just to explain you. So currently we are putting this on home view like this. So we will not put it here. Instead, we will just cut this out from here and just remove it from 
this space and uh, we will go to layout main and this is the card count component which is this component card count and when someone uh, hits on that we will trigger this model so we are using foundation so this is the foundation model uh, you can use any of model bootstrap model will fine so we have id checkout detail model and we we need to put that card detail component inside it so this is the card component detail which we just cut it out from home and we have this close button and this id is inside card count yeah so button data open this checkout detail model so it will open that model which is this model okay so let's check this out refresh yeah there we go we can increase we can decrease okay so this is the basic uh, cart so what next functionality we can add is uh, increase or decrease the size from here so you can make this input field and when someone changes it uh, you can save it to v model and then update the cart so at this point we have uh, all our required uh, data for checkout in our view cart so if you see in root component we have three items in cart with uh, necessary quantity so this is 11 so now what we can do is we can easily send this to backend like this start card using axios or any other http client when user uh, now when user hits uh, checkout we will send this card data to backend and charge the customer and do all necessary things there so we'll do that on next video